All right. Hey, what's going on there, everyone? Welcome back here to a Thursday. It is the Earth Master out here. September 25th, 2025 is the date. 12.21 p.m. Good afternoon. A 4.0 earthquake, the latest there across the Indonesia area. That's uh, somewhat deep there into the region. Last 24 hours of earthquake activity here on the globe. The darker color rings there indicating some older movement. Newer rings and the white uh, of course, the latest there in the red flag and also the green flag over here. Uh, got, uh, of course, a lot of activity stirring up there in the Venezuela area from yesterday. We have noticed a little bit of migration here north and south here from this middle point area where the six-pointer struck yesterday. Quite a bit of uptick here across South America area and also around the Mexico region here. Mexico seeing a 5.7 earthquake here this morning. A couple minutes later, another five-pointer. Uh, watching this area closely here because that's a little odd to see that type of sequence there from a 5.7 Could be working its way up north here. Let's see what we got uh, across California quite a few earthquakes in the last hour lighten up Right around the San Andreas Fault a couple of those on the San Andreas Fault As uh, far as anything above 2.5 Today well, there's been a number of them 2.5 or 2.8 around Berkeley. That's on the Hayward Fault once again 2.6 down there on the San Jacinto Fault Zone near Anza, and a 2.7 up around the uh, northern, off the coast there, Northern California. So we are getting some pressurization and adjustment going on. We're working its way up north here from the south. Uh, let's see what we got here on the Hayward Fault. Looks like there was only one earthquake there, uh, which is not a big earthquake, but it's. I, it's been getting a little swarming out there recently, including a 4.3. Got about 20 earthquakes here in the last week on the Hayward Fault, which is overdue uh, for a big earthquake. And the, the concerning part of this is that there's been so much time has passed, and the infrastructure that we built up out here and the population density is incredible. Uh, so that's a very dangerous fault system out there uh, in the East Bay. So we do have to watch that closely. Uh, Northern California, as I mentioned, that little 2.7. Uh, Cascadia trimmer activity was absent of earthquake activity. Let's go check that out real quick, see what we got, and then we'll get back to the rest of the data. Yeah, this is from yesterday. Nothing showing up there as far as Cascadia trimmer goes from yesterday. So we'll see what happens a little bit later when the update comes out there. A uh, handful of earthquakes there through the um, Nevada region. Uh, what do we got here? Anything major going on in the Pacific Northwest? I don't see a whole lot of activity, but they've been only throwing up a quake or two every once in a while. So we do have to go over here and check out the seismograph stations there ourselves. Make sure that the data uh, is up and see what we got going on here today. There's uh, Those are the six-pointers there from last night. Notice the S-waves coming in. Um, 9 o'clock. Here's the 5.8 in Mexico. See the S waves, the squiggly lines. But as far as local activity, there's a couple here in the blue. Um, let's see what they got here. This is at Mount St. Helen. So one reported earthquake at about three o'clock this morning there up at Mount Sha or uh, Mount St. Helen, excuse me. So let's go see that one around three o'clock. That's going to be well. That's at 2:56, right? So that would match that one. 256 so that's a little bitty earthquake there's a couple other smaller ones in there as well but i don't see any uptick uh mount rainier let's go check this out real quick see what's showing up here on the graph and there we go um some noise out there i think that's i don't know if they got some wind up there or not we'll have to check the weather here in a little bit there may be a couple localized events uh, really nothing showing up here on the map for Mount Rainier. But it does look like maybe there's some wind out there earlier this morning. Uh, and still lasting to this time period. So let me just take a look real quick here. See what we got as far as the wind goes way up there. And we'll get back to the earthquake activity. Yeah, they definitely got something going on up there. Uh, across the Cascade showing up on the um, Mount Rainier seismograph station. Wind gusts, you know, in the area, these could be higher across the peak areas. I'm sure they're 40, 50 mile per hour winds up there uh, around the summit area of Mount Rainier. So that's what we're seeing. Got some pressure differences going on out here. So it's going to stir up. That's what we've seen there on the, uh, the graph. 
All right, uh, Yellowstone, a couple smaller quakes out there, nothing big going on. But look at Southern California, just lighting up out here all over the place, folks. When things are on the move, which they have been out here, and, and you've got so much time that's passed between large events, well, you know, it's that's the time to be on guard. A lot of stuff lighting up out here. Oil fields of Texas still going, Oklahoma as well, and even the new Madrid seismic zone there, seen a couple earthquakes yesterday, 2.1 and a 2.5 around the 9 o'clock time period. That's going to be my time, of course. Uh, out there is going to be their local time. So keep an eye on things here. Uh, as far as the Venezuela activity goes, there was another large earthquake following the two events there from yesterday, uh, 5.8. So right now, these two quakes here were four shocks, 6.3 being the main quake, and that's uh, an aftershock, a couple aftershocks there, but... Kind of watch that because there's not a whole lot of historical large earthquake activity out here in terms of mega quakes. It doesn't mean uh, doesn't mean it can't happen. You got those mountains building up out here for a reason due to tectonic strain. So just kind of watch that. Uh, far as uh, Japan area, somewhat active up here across the Kamchatka area down through Japan. Let's see what we got here. A couple earthquakes today in the four, even the five range continued aftershock sequence there from that 8.8 .8 that struck back in July quite a bit of a quite a bit of activity stirred up there let me tell you uh, Japan region there's one around the Izu Trench a couple older events there from yesterday in the red circles uh, you got your typical movement here across the Indonesia area and the Java Trench here looks like there was a uh, maybe a five pointer out there yeah 5.2 early this morning along with some uh, Looks like some aftershock activity. Uh, New Zealand, somewhat quiet, some older quake activity. But we do have a, looks like a 3.9 there along the southern end of the Kermadec Trench, one of the later quakes there. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean, getting busy out here. Looks uh, like a, the rift boundary here, stirring things up. A couple fives early this morning. Uh, the rest of the world there, just typical movement. Right now, I do think we need to watch with all this uptick going on here across the eastern area of the Pacific Plate and the adjacent plates here. Going to be these plates that are somewhat connected to it, right? You got the spreading seafloor center out here and a couple other um, fracture boundaries that uh, cause the Nazca Plate and the Cocos Plate to further subduct underneath their respected areas. And uh, the strain is high out here, which would include areas to watch up here north along the west coast. There's a 2.0 coming in right now to the let's see 2.1 at 1224 so that just popped up here that's up north north of Ridgecrest you know what concerns me is when we get all this elevated activity here in a short amount of time period not just in one area but regionally you know you can see it it's it's fairly active here uh, about S San Francisco area southward in many different locations here so the squeeze is on out here and uh, hopefully I mean, eventually it's going to happen. We're going to see a, a big earthquake out here, but we just all got to be prepared. All right, space weather activity here real quick. See what we got going on. Uh, just a little bit of sea flare activity. Really nothing major going on there. See what we got here for the complexity models. This is still offline. Uh, the majority of these look like they are weakening and continue continuing to... Uh, track over there across the western area of the sun i i don't really see anything of any major noteworthy mentioning maybe 4226 here a little bit of complexity within that sunspot core but overall the flare threat will remain low 35 percent chance there for m flare x flare around one percent chance or so no major auroras there in the forecast for now folks and i uh, got 13 percent illumination there of the moon if you can find it as uh, far as any close approach asteroids go here to the planet, uh, let's take a look. See what we got. Uh, this one's coming in um, t today. Fairly uh, new in discovery. 130 foot, but that's uh, just over half a million miles away. So it's fairly safe there. Uh, everything else out there big, but uh, we got a safe distance as far as the pass goes from this pl uh, from the uh, that asteroid. I wanted to check out Hawaii real quick. I know I kind of skipped over them, but I do want to double check here. Uh, see what we got going on. There we go. Keep skipping over it. 
All right, so this is the Kilauea volcano map. Um, I do look, I do like to look at this deformation data because it tells us what's going on underneath it. As far as inflation goes, this is magma filling up the area below, leading up to the uh, next eruption here, which looks like it's on tap. Episode 34 should be here in, uh, oh, what do we got? It's close, but not quite matching the previous run-up time there to the inflation to the event, which was the eruption. So we do have a number of days to go, but notice that we didn't deplete as much last time, at least here on the map on this graph here. We only went about three quarters of the way compared to last time. Um, but if you go back here in the number of others, they pretty much match the last one except for this event. So not for sure what that means. I, I do think though, yeah, I don't know why it does it periodically, why it does this instead of just keeping at the same um, balance there. But yeah, a little bit of uh, a little bit more depletion here on the last one and it seems like it did take a little bit longer to build back up this one matching the previous one uh, but it should we should see another eruption here once we get very close to this level which was around the five here in terms of the uh, inflation all right uh, let's see what we got here for severe weather wise not a whole lot going on for any major severe weather we do have thunderstorm activity there across uh, california and the portions of the desert southwest Tornado threat today, limited out there across the northeast. A little bit of wind and maybe a little bit of hail threat out there for the thunderstorms that pop up in your area, so just be on guard. As far as any tropical systems go, I know we got some off the east coast stirring things up. Let's see what the latest weather model wants to show here. Uh, there's that uh, dual hurricane effect there that stirs up the uh, Fujiwara effect. Uh, it looks like it's trying to do that. Uh, but it does show some development there coming up uh, early next week. We'll have to watch this closely. One of them shows an inland path, while the other one just kind of stirs up back off uh, into the Atlantic. So we will have to watch that. Let me see. Uh, wait, where's my... Um, yeah, this word, current storms. Uh, remnants of Gabrielle. We don't need that one. See, this one right here is uh, showing kind of a, a definite direct hit there to the east, southeastern portion of the country. Um, but we'll have to watch that. Some of these are all going all over the place. It doesn't look like it's going to turn into anything strong at the moment. Uh, maybe up to a Category 1, but we'll check back on that as we get a little bit closer to that time period. In the meantime, folks, stay on guard. Be prepared. A lot of shuffling going on out here with the plates. Um, West Coast, as you can see, lighten up out here. A lot of earthquake activity, a lot more than uh, your daily counts go, and it's all over the place. It's not just one area. It's it's showing uh, quite a bit of strain out here. So we'll be off here on the side kind of monitoring things, and, of course, we'll be back here later this evening. Enjoy your Thursday.